Welcome back to Get Google Ready for 2024. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be taking you through the step-by-step -step process in how to set up a video campaign or as many people would refer to it, a YouTube ads campaign in Google Ads. Now, before I get to the step-by-step -step process of how to actually set up your video campaigns in Google Ads, I do firstly wanna to touch on the important elements that you need to include in your video ad. And the reason for why this is so important is because you could have the perfect video campaign set up, you could be targeting the right audiences, but the harsh reality is, is that if your video ads, so the videos that you are using for your ads, if they suck, your results in Google Ads will also suck. And the reason for that is because video campaigns are very, very different to say search or shopping based ads. And the reason for that is because in search and shopping ads, Google has the majority of the control over the look and feel of your ads in that all of the ads have the same character limits, they use the same fonts. For a shopping ad, you're only allowed one image. So even if you are a small business or a small brand, your ads have the same quality as large multinational companies. However, that is vastly different when it comes to a video campaign. And it's very, very likely that your video ads will be going up against large multinational companies who have very, very large budgets to produce specific video ads. So for success with video campaigns, it's very, very important that you don't only focus on the correct setup for your Google campaign. So what I wanna do right now, before I take you through that step-by-step -step process, I do wanna take you through five core factors that your videos need to include, and this will help ensure that your ads do get that cut through. Now, you may not be able to match a large company with the production value, but if you have a well-structured ad that has good audio and good video, you can get cut through and you can get results with video campaigns in Google Ads. The first thing that you need is that you do need to make sure that your videos have a very strong hook. And what I mean by that is that you need to get the viewer's attention within the first six seconds. And the reason for why that is so important is because after that time, they can skip on your ad. So what you wanna do in the first five to six seconds of your video is you need to get their attention and also give the viewer a reason to watch on. Because remember, in a couple of seconds, they'll be able to skip your ad and completely forget that they saw your ad at all. And the second thing that your video needs to do is that it needs to either build desire or solve a problem. And the reason for that is because people buy products or services for two main reasons. One, they have a current problem that they need solved, or two, they have a desire or goal that they want to achieve. So they're looking to your products or services to either take them away from pain or to head them towards the path of success or whatever dream they have in the future. So after the hook, you need to then very, very clearly highlight a need or a desire, and that then brings us to the third point, which is when you introduce your product or service as the solution. So this is a two-step process. You're firstly highlighting the need or the desire, and then you're introducing your product or service as the answer to either that need or desire. And then the last two elements is all about really closing the sale. And what you wanna be doing here firstly is that especially if you are a smaller or an unknown brand, you need to build authority. And a great way of doing that in a video ad is to just highlight some of your testimonials or your reviews. And that helps it to become a safety by numbers type of deal going on. Think of it like this. If you were going to a new country and you wanted to find a good coffee shop, would you go to the coffee shop that your friend had recommended and had countless five-star reviews? Or would you go to the coffee shop that's next to it that has no reviews and no online profile? So a really easy way of building that trust and authority in a video ad is to just highlight some of your testimonies or your reviews that you've received. And then finally, you need to close the deal with a strong call to action. Even if you've got the highest production of a video ad, if at its core you are ultimately offering a poor value offer, it won't work. And I see this time and time again. And I want you to think of it like this. If you're trying to sell a $5 note for $10 and there's nothing special about that $5 note, it's just a normal $5 note and you're trying to sell it for $10, your campaign is always gonna fail because fundamentally the offer is a bad offer. Why would anyone take that? Why would someone pay $10 for something that is only worth 
$5 and there's heaps of them around. But unfortunately, I see this all the time in Google Ads where people blame Google Ads, but the issue is that it's a poor offer. The same is especially true for video campaigns. If you do all of the other four things correctly, but then you're leading them to a really poor put together call to action, your ad just will not work. So now that we've said all of that, I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to set up a video campaign. And if you do miss any of these steps, or you want a reminder of those four key things that you need to include in your video ad, I want you to go through and follow that link in the description below, because that'll give you free access to my video campaign setup guide. And this is a free guide that you can download so that you can follow the step-by-step -step process at your own leisure. All right, with all that said, right now it's time for us to jump into a screen share so I can show you that step-by-step -step process of setting up a video campaign in Google Ads. When you're in Google Ads, you wanna go straight to the new campaign button. Now, if you are in the new dashboard, you will see this, it's a little bit, a little bit over here to the left, but once again, just look for the new campaign button. And then once you select this, you can then go through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your own video campaign. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're very much gonna be focusing on a video campaign that is built to either generate more sales or more leads. So I'm not talking about about a website traffic or a product and brand consideration because that does have some different steps in it. But for this purpose, because we're, I'm very much targeting this towards people who are wanting to use YouTube ads to either increase their sales or increase the number of leads that their businesses are receiving. So this one's gonna be for my business So and we wanna generate more leads. So we're gonna click leads here. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna go through and take out any leads that you don't want to be included in this campaign. The one thing that I wanna stress here is that by removing these goals, you're not removing them from your account, you're just removing them from this Google campaign. And what that means is that Google won't be attracting these goals as part of any bidding. So maximize conversions or maximize conversion value strategies that you're using. So for this one, I've just submitted my lead forms, converted leads and purchases. Then we go to continue. And then we want to click on video. From there, you just go through and click continue. And then if you've set up any Google Ads campaigns before, you'll know this screen. It's basically just taking you through the process of setting up your campaign. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I like to add a good naming convention so that I know exactly what this is for. And I've just put it down as video conversions. So I know it's a video campaign. We're set it for conversions and it's for 2024. Doesn't really matter what you call the campaign. Just don't leave it as video campaign one. You wanna know exactly what it's about. So I would usually also put in the product name or the website name of what we're targeting. Now, what I've also gone through and done is I've just put in some specific locations. The reasons why I've targeted these ones in here is because these are our best selling products. If you wanted to, you can move these into different campaigns, but I'm happy to keep these all together. And you can target this even down to individual postcodes or zip codes. Now, because we selected a maximize conversions campaign, it is only giving us the options of maximize conversions with a target CPA. If you had put this down to a brand awareness type of campaign or website traffic, you do also have some other bid strategies that you can use, which is like a target CPM or viewable impressions. But once again, as I said, because this is for businesses who are looking to either increase their leads or sales, these are the only two options we've got. Then we just need to come in and add our budget. I'm just gonna set the budget at $40 a day. And we are gonna be running this over the first three months. So what I'll do is we'll run this through to the end of February. Now, when it comes through to networks through here as well, is that you can, opt in or opt out of different ones. So I just wanna be going, focusing on YouTube. And by default, this will also get you into the Google Display Network. And then from there, it's just a matter of adding in any different assets. Now, I've already got some site links in here and the site links, well, if you don't know, they're the little links that you've got or little menu items that you can have underneath the ad. I do recommend adding them. And the reason for why I recommend adding them is because it even, especially on a mobile, it does increase the size of the ad, which is, you know, Obviously, if you've got a bigger ad, it helps with visibility. Now, when it comes into your additional settings, one of the things that I do do is that I'll generally go through and remove TVs. And the reason for that is because a lot of TVs still don't have a great website functionality. So that's why I would generally just keep it focused on computers, mobile phones, and tablets. If you're just looking for brand awareness and not end line sales or conversions, I'm fine with TVs, but because we're going for that conversion action, I'm gonna focus it on computers, mobile phones, and tablets. And then we just need to come 
come down and set up our ad group. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be putting here a sign that it's ad one. That way I know that as I go through and set up different ad groups and different ads, I just know the difference whether it's the first ad or the second ad that we're using. Now I do recommend that you go through and add in some audiences. Now where we would get these audiences from, as you can see, I've already got some different audiences in here. So I'm just gonna select this one. But where you'd be adding in your audiences, now generally for me, video campaign is not the first campaign that you are using. And you would have done previous search, shopping, or even performance max campaigns. So I would grab some of the audiences and the best converting keywords from those campaigns and put them into your audience targeting in here. It is a fairly simple step-by-step -step process where what you're doing is you're going through and you're adding in the search terms. Then you're also adding in your data and you're also adding in some of the interest and detailed demographics. Once again, I've got all this data from the best performing audiences from our other campaigns. So you can go through and create your own audience. Now, when it comes to optimized targeting, what that means is that with these selections that we've given in here, Google will go beyond those selections. So because this is a general leads and sales campaign, I will keep optimized targeting on. I do turn this off if I'm doing a remarketing campaign. So if I'm wanting to target people who have only interacted with my business before and I wanna give them a specific offer, that's when I would turn off the optimized targeting. So essentially what you're doing here is that Google would use this as the base audience and then it'll go out into similar or lookalike audiences if it feels it can get more conversions. Now, what we need to do from here is that we now need to come down and create our ads. So with a YouTube ad, you need to actually have a YouTube video. Now I would recommend from here is that you're creating a video, then uploading it to YouTube, and you want this to be separate from your any organic YouTube videos that you have on your channel. The reason for why I recommend that is because it's very, very different metric. And if you use a video that you wanna rank within Google's just general searches, sending ad traffic to it can really harm the performance of that. And the reason for that is that you've got ads will have a general quicker drop off rate than on an organic video. Now I've already got my YouTube video here so I'll just go through and add in the URL. And then what we also need to do is we wanna select the landing page where we want this video to go to. And I've got my landing page in here. And then it's just from there, we just wanna go through and create our call to action, or you can choose one of these pre-selected ones, but I'll just go with learn more. Once again, you can go through and test which ones you wanna do. And then it's just a matter of adding in some different headlines, long headlines and descriptions. I've got these ready to go. So I'm just gonna go through and copy these in through here. So now I've gone through and I've created my call to action, my headlines, my long headline and my description. And then from there, we've got our ad ready to go. And then all we need to do from here, if you wanted to, if you wanted to add in some split testing, you can create another ad. And what you can do here is you've got two options is that you could use the same video with some different headlines, or you could actually do a separate video ad. In another campaign that I have running, that's the way I've got it gone around it, where I've actually recorded two separate video ads. The reason why I do that is it gives me some really clear data on which video ads are performing better. But just for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna go through and click create campaign. And then from there, our campaign is ready ready to launch. And that's the simple step-by-step -step process that you can use to set up your video campaigns in 2024. And as a reminder, if you did miss any of those steps, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below so that you can get access to my free Google Ads video campaign setup guide. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And remember, if you wanna stay up to date with all of these new videos that I'm releasing as part of my Get Google Ready for 2024 playlist, and this will be the only playlist that you'll need to learn about all of the different Google Ads campaigns and how you set them up and also optimize them correctly in 2024. And if you wanna know every time I release a new video in this playlist, make sure that you not only subscribe, but you also turn on that notification bell and you can watch all the videos in that this playlist right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.